are the princess. Satan locked us in the Tower of Sin. We did too. We kind of walked in there on our own. But the Prince of Peace comes to rescue us out of that captivity. Yes, ma'am. And I was, uh, well, I just, you know, I didn't really know that or anything like that, but the song that goes, Oh, it's a you've ever heard the country song when I get to where I'm going right okay so it starts off you're gonna ride the lion and the raindrops and whatnot right have you ever listened to it clearly for the final verse when I get to where I'm going and I see my maker's face I'll stand forever in the light of his amazing grace that's the final verse of that country song. What does it sound like to you? Yes, sir. Um, when Jesus comes to save us and heaven opens up, um, we're there and we can do our meeting. Mm-hmm. So how do I talk to people about the gospel <laughs> just in regular everyday things? I already talked about my neighbor. Sometimes you could do it at a restaurant. Sometimes... You could do it at the Dunkin' Donuts you find in New Mexico. See, Dunkin' Donuts, that's a New York City thing. We miss it. We don't have it in Idaho. When my husband and I were driving through New Mexico to get here, on one of the side roads we had to take, I spot a Dunkin' Donuts. And I tell my husband, I oh, look, 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 and he looks, and we're so happy. I go in, we order our bagels, coffee, oh, donuts to take to the hotel we'll be at, and just enjoy, right? Then my husband says, because we ate our bagels in the truck, because we haven't had them for seven years, we ate them, and he says, let's get another one. We can have it tonight at dinner. Okay, I go back in. First time I was in there, the gentleman behind the counter, he's laughing at my order, because I'm ordering a dozen donuts, coffee, bagels, and then I had a stack of bags of coffee put on the counter, and he goes, oh, you like Duncan, don't you? And I said, from New York City, never had, you know, haven't had them for, in Idaho for seven years. He goes, hey, I'm from New Jersey. Clicked right there. New York, New Jersey. We know, we understand each other. Anyway, second time I go back in, he goes, you want more? I said, yeah. And then I looked over and there was coffee I forgot to get, hazelnut and midnight. So I go grab that as well. We get to talking. What you doing through New Mexico? I said, we're driving to my next stop for a book tour. Book tour? What's that? I said, I'm presenting a book I wrote. What'd you write? A book about the Apostles' Creed. Hey, I remember that from the Catholic Church. Started talking a little. Wow, that's so interesting. You have a card? You have like a YouTube? Yes, I do. Here's my card. On there, you can go to my YouTube channel and listen to the apologetics material. You can hear the good news of Jesus Christ saving you from your sins. Boom, that was it. Time to pay, time to go out. That's how we can tell people, I didn't know him. He was from New Jersey. Okay, a little connection, but it was the second trip in. Now, when you go to the grocery store, and your mom's busy packing the bags and you're just kind of like, come on, I don't want to get home, I don't want to do chores anymore. Instead, talk to the cashier, unless you go through the electronic one, because then the computer doesn't know. But if you're talking to a person, talk to them. Hey, how much, are you doing anything for Reformation Day or like trunk and treat? Okay, how about inviting your non-Christian friends to the trunk and treat? That's scary. You know why? They might say no. And that's okay. Uh, you said amazing grace around me. I want to give a hand to Mason Grace. Amazing grace. Yep. That's a beautiful one. That is a beautiful one. And you had, you wanted to say? Go ahead. Um, Yeah. 
Did you know there's one more reason that you receive the Lord's Supper after you're catechized? There's, you receive forgiveness of sins in the bread and wine that is the true body of Jesus and the true blood, right? There's one other reason. How many here eat every day? Do you know if you miss the Lord's Supper, you will spiritually starve? He feeds your faith. What does food do for you? Energizes. So church, where you get fed on the word, confession and absolution, the word preached, the body and blood of Christ and the elements, is, stre is strengthening you and energizing you to go out, love your neighbor like you as you love God. And the best way to love your neighbor is to tell them what? Let's do it together. Christ, Christ died, died for our, our sins. sins. And if you remember that, you are about a million and a half steps ahead of a lot of other Christians who forget because we get nervous and we forget. Remember that. Christ died for our sins. When they're asking you questions and you need to answer them and you forget all the stuff the Apostles' Creed is teaching you and you remember that, you're going to be good. And thank you so much. Oh, you have more questions. Justification. That simply means he gave us his righteousness. Remember, he's the only one, only religious leader not dead. Any questions before? Yes. Do your hand. Um, uh, so, Jesus And you're learning to answer, right? To give an apologia to those who are asking your questions. You're going to have it not only now, when you get to college and then you begin to work and you continue to come to church, they're going to ask you. And if all you remember 10, 15 years from now, you look at your hand and go, wait a minute. That lady from Idaho said Christ died for our sins, and you remember that. Then I've done my job, which is to teach you that. And to teach you that's the answer you want to give them for the questions they have. You want to get there because it's so important that their sins are forgiven too. Jesus died for everybody. Just a lot of people don't know it yet. And it's our job. When they ask us, as St. Peter says, always have an answer and be ready. So any other questions? All right, then. I'm going to close up. Thank you so much for having me and letting me come by. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you.